guys. Okay, so I wanted to come in today and teach you how you can make a timer in OBS so that if you're starting your live stream and you want to have a countdown timer or if you want to use a timer anywhere during your live stream, it's easy to do in OBS. I know there are other applications out there that you can download and you can also use timers and there's more customization, but there is a very basic timer in OBS that is very useful if you just need a basic timer. So let's get into it so say goodbye to the dance party i know they're rocking out okay so you guys welcome if you've never been to my channel before thank you for being here and i hope this is helpful for you my name is kate i'm a techie teacher i love technology so so much i love figuring things out um, i've really gotten deep into live streaming the last six months and i use obs to live stream my workouts and um, other things like this tutorial and i use obs and a couple other programs simple programs to create everything I brought my classroom online. I used to teach third grade. I don't teach anymore um, in the traditional sense, but here I am teaching. Okay, so you guys, um, my mic looks a little loud, so I'm gonna actually turn my mic down a little bit because I think I'm probably clipping. Um, that should be a little bit better. Maybe we'll try it right there. So I want to make sure that I'm not sounding too distorted for you. And those are some of the really cool features that you can do in OBS if you don't know that. So anyway, tell me about you guys below in the comments. How did you find my channel? What are you streaming? What are you doing for video production? Are you a fitness professional? Are you trying to get your workouts online? Are you live streaming something else? I would love to know. And that really helps me drive my content creation so that I know what to help you with. Like today, I'm going to help you with the timer. Um, and then a few other resources if you're looking to um, just connect with me further. I do spend a lot of time in these Facebook groups. So this is a group I started for mostly fitness professionals who are streaming using OBS or any other um, streaming software like Streamlabs or Ecamm or Wirecast. Um, but I just set it up really to help us connect and, and support each other with, you know, how we're doing things and sharing, not because I'm the expert, uh, just because it's nice to be able to ask questions and to connect with people who are also trying to do similar things that you're doing. So you can search for this group on Facebook if you would like to connect with us there. If you want to work out with me, maybe you found my channel because you actually want to do a workout like Turbo or Pio. Oh my gosh, they're so amazing. And then you do need to find this group and this is where I actually post all of my workout information, like my schedule for the week, all the live stream links and all of that um, it updates as well so if you want to get fit and have fun then go to this group okay so let's get back to today's topic you guys and really get into it so what I've done is I've actually pre-recorded a video teaching you how to use this and then I'll be able to pause it if I forgot anything because I oftentimes forget things so let me go ahead and um, first of all get this out of the way here I'm going to turn the song off there we go. And then we're going to, um, I'm going to play the video for you and then I'll pause it if I need to. Maybe I won't even need to. I don't know. But this is going to walk you through exactly how to use that really basic timer in OBS if you want to have a basic scene in the beginning. And I'll show you that in the video as well. So let's see if I can get this video to play. Hopefully I can. Give me a second here. Um, so we're going to get this going back in the background and let's see if I have sound. That's the other important thing. All right, here we go. Okay, so let me show you guys the goal we're going for here. So if you want a countdown timer, for example, this is my scene when my viewers join a live stream. And what I do is I always start my stream 15 minutes early so that people have time to get ready. They have time to get their stuff ready for the workout, tech, tech checks, volume settings, all that good stuff. And this also gives me time to make sure that the stream is going, make sure my volume settings are correct. Um, I usually have music playing. But what I wanted to do is I wanted a timer right here. And so I want to teach you how to get this timer that will count down from whatever time you choose so that when it gets to the zero mark, then you can be like, hey, welcome to my live stream. So it's a very simple feature. It is built into OBS and it's it's wonderful. Um, and you can customize and style it so that it matches your brand or however you want your quick pause here, you guys. Also, if you know of other amazing timer uh, resources, applications, things you can download or use for OBS, please comment below and share. I'm always looking to explore other options too, or finding other timers or other, you know, things that you can pull into your live stream that would be really helpful. Like I said, this is a very, very basic timer, or you can keep it super simple and just do basic text. So let me go over to our 
um, timer tutorial here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So right now there is no timer here and I'm going to show you how to do this in OBS. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to tools and you're going to go under scripts. And you're going to see nothing here if you've never added anything here before. And you want to click the plus button. And then you're going to choose the countdown.lua. And you're going to open that up. And then it will show up right here. All right, so then you do need to select this to see its uh, description here. And this is where you're going to change your settings. Now, before we come in and, and do this stuff here, we need to create a text source, which is basically a text box that our timer is going to be connected to. So I'm going to close out of this. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create down here in your sources panel, click the plus button. You're going to click a text box and you want to give it a name. I like to put mine text and then I'm going to do timer. Click OK. And here's where you can stylize if you would like or you can keep it very basic. So um, I'm going to select the font. I know that I really like my guitar font. It matches all of my branding. Um, I like to make mine really big and then I can shrink it down. And you can always change the style of your of your timer after the fact too. You don't have to stylize it right now. So you can always make these adjustments later on. I find that I get better quality resolution that way. And then uh, I don't want anything else here, so I'm gonna click OK. Now I do wanna change the color, so I'm gonna scroll down here and you can do a blended color if you'd like. So I might choose, um, I might choose black and uh, maybe purple. That kind of fits my style. And you can change this later on too. You can do a drop shadow if you want. Um, you can kind of play around with that. Click OK. Now, nothing showed up here, but I did create the box. OK, so it's right here. It says text timer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that scripts tool and we're going to map the timer to that text box. So we're going to go back into the scripts tool, make sure the countdown.lua is selected. And now when you go under text source, um, now it should pop up here, but this is where OBS gets a little glitchy. Um, so it's not showing up yet, up yet. So I have found actually that what we might need to do to get it to pop back up, we might need to delete this, do the minus sign, okay, and then re-add it. Um, so we know that OBS has a few things like this that kind of drive us crazy. Um, so if we re-add it, now it should pop up. Yes. So some people that I've been working with have been having a hard time figuring out why their text box isn't showing up. So just delete the, the, the countdown and then re-add it and it should pop back up here. So there's that new text box that I created. So we're going to select that as our text source. Did you see how it just popped up over here? Okay, so that's the timer. Now you can see it's stylized in the text that I want, the font and the colors that I chose. Now here's where you can choose the duration of your timer. So you can choose, you know, whatever timer you want. I wanted mine to be 15. And then here's where you can choose what you want it to display once the timer runs out. So I'm going to pause here as well. So another limitation of this OBS timer is you don't have any options as far as, as and I, this is as far as I know. I haven't figured out how to, for example, like just do the minutes or just show, like you can't cut things off. I'm going to show you a shortcut or not a shortcut, kind of a workaround, but there's some lim limitations to it. So like I said, there are other timer applications out there that I know you have a lot more control over. Um, this one, you don't. So you can have it say, you know, let's go, we're starting. I just have mine with a couple little squigglies because then I turn my camera on right away. It's up to you. So we can close this out. Now this text box, we can move this around as we wish in OBS. We can resize if we want it to be bigger. We can make it smaller. We can do whatever we want with it. The other thing you can do, but it does, uh, it will affect the what it looks like when your, um, your end text shows up. You can hold down the option button and you can, while you're holding the option button down, you can click the handle here and you can crop out um, those extra zeros. But like I said, that will affect what it looks like if you have any text phrase that you want to show up at the end. So I just leave it like I don't really care that much. Um, and so now let's say that um, if I turn the timer off here with the eyeball, that restarts the timer also. So if you want to hide the timer and then show the timer again, or something else that I have found that often happens to me is 
I will forget to start the timer. <laughs> and then, then all of a sudden I'm like, oh wait, now I don't want it to be 15 minutes. Now it needs to be 13 minutes. So what you can easily do is go back up into the scripts, select it, and you can quick change it to whatever you need it to be. So let's say now I've missed the mark and now it needs to be 12. Okay, I can quick change it to 12 and then I can restart it and there we go. So just know that if you turn that eyeball on and off or if you change your scene, then it's gonna restart. And then the other side note is uh, there is no way to pause the timer. So that's where oftentimes like I might accidentally switch to a scene by mistake and then I have to go back into scripts and reset it for the new time that I want. So it is kind of a pain sometimes, but you'll, you get the hang of it. And I only, again, I only use the timer one time in my stream, so it's not that big of a deal for me. And so just watch that. But that's the timer. And that has been really helpful for me so that when my viewers join the live stream, they know how much time they have until the workout is actually starting and they can prepare and be ready to go. Um, and that is how you use the timer in OBS. I hope that was helpful. Okay, so you guys, that is uh, that is my tutorial for you. And I hope that that made it simple and it was easy to follow. Um, I was super excited when I found out that OBS had a timer feature because that's exactly what I needed, especially because I do come onto my stream 15 minutes early, which is quite a long time. And so it just really gives your viewers a heads up like, hey, this is when we're starting. So you guys, Thank you so much for checking this out. I hope it was helpful for you. Please leave me some comments below. Um, double check that you've subscribed to my channel. I do plan to do a whole bunch of more tutorials about OBS um, and not just OBS, but also other applications I use to create, like how I create my templates, how I create all my graphics. Um, I do everything myself and I want to share with you what I know so that you can create things too, so you can teach people what you know. Um, we live in a really amazing world of technology and I just think it's so fun. So you guys ask any questions below as well. Like do you have specific questions on a, on a feature you're wanting to learn or a question about anything you see here. Very specific questions are really helpful for me because then it helps me, like I said, drive my content for what I wanna create next. Um, also, you can check the description for any other resources or other ways to connect with me. And you guys, come back soon. Have a great day and I hope to um, see any comments below. And like I said, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube. That really, really helps my channel. And I hope this was helpful for you guys. All right, you guys, have a great day. We'll see you next time, bye.